Even with Zach Levine's injury, the trade rumors around the Chicago Bulls don't and won't stop until the trade deadline officially passes. We now have word that the Golden State Warriors have made calls on Alice Caruso and Casey Johnson updates, a deal that was still being worked on up until Zach Levine's surgery was announced. We're going to get into all that and more right after this. You are now tuned in to Chicago Bulls Central, your number one place for all Chicago Bulls news and content. What's going on, Bulls fans? Welcome to another episode of Chicago Bulls Central, your number one spot for everything Chicago Bulls related. I'm the host, Her Hayes. But more importantly, you guys can follow the channel at Bulls Central Pod on every social media platform you happen to be on. With that being said, let's go and get into the content. So came in, coming out today is that uh, the, the Golden State Warriors are actually made calls in regards to Alice Crusoe. Now, as, as per this as well, no trade is imminent. So we want to be clear on that. No one's saying that. But the Golden State Warriors have at least called out to make some some calls in regards to seeing the availability of Alice Cruz. Now, per in this report as well, the Bulls have turned it down as they continue to turn away teams that are calling on Alice Cruz, which is frustrating some Bulls fans that do think that the Bulls should be looking to take in all deals, regardless if it's going to get you picks back. Now, the thing with the Golden State, so Golden State Warriors is they would fit the team that you theoretically think would go after Alice Cruz. A team that's looking to make a move up the standings. Yes, they haven't been good this season at all. I think if they were kind of better and higher in the standings, I think they may even probably go a little bit harder at, at Alice Cruz. So if it seemed like they were one of those teams that had one of those chances to make a true try to push to the finals. The Golden State Warriors sit in a worse place than the Chicago Bulls right now, sitting at being outside of the play-in. But that is a team that you kind of always have a level of, hey, could this team turn it around after the All-Star break? Would they start taking a little bit more seriously there? So if the Golden State Warriors were going to be interested in Alice Caruso, considering the size of his contract, there are players that they could do to match the salaries one for one. Gary Payton II is one. I don't think that they would look to move on from him. Kevon Looney is another one that fits within the Alice Caruso contract. I don't think they look to move on from him either. Moses Moody's contract isn't, isn't enough to match Alice Caruso's contract. So, yeah, they can make it work. It may have to take a little bit of, of, of fidgeting to get it to work. But then you have to look at the picks things. We've heard that the Chicago Bulls want two first-round picks back for, Al- for Alice Cruz. So now, the Golden State Warriors do have protections on their pick um, in 2024, 2025, and 2026. They cannot trade those outright right, right now. Now, if they do convey their pick to the Portland Trailblazers either in 2024 or 2025, they will have their 2026 pick outright. But when you look outside of that, that would mean that the Warriors have the 2028, 2029, and 2030 pick to, to use, first-round picks to use in a deal for Alice Caruso. Now, the Bulls would have to weigh, do they think the Warriors are going to be bad enough to where those picks could be, which they could. You look at where the Warriors, the state of their franchise right now, those future first-round picks for the Warriors could be great, but that's probably also why the Warriors are going to hold on to those picks as well. So I don't know how to really look at it and view it when it comes down to it. I mean, uh, at the end of the day, the Golden State Warriors would make sense for a team to be interested in Alice Cruz. So, uh, you know, there are a couple of games below 500. So they're still trying to possibly look at it. They're four games below 500. Maybe they do look at it and say, we feel like we can make a move in the second half if we get a spark plug off the bench like Alice Caruso. But hey, I guess we'll end up seeing if that comes to fruition or anything like that. I don't foresee the Chicago Bulls moving on or trading um, Alice Caruso per se at this trade deadline. I just don't think that that's going to be something that they are going to try to Try to do. I think they've they've committed. I think they've committed and said everything uh, that that it, that works for them when it comes down to it. I don't think this team is looking to move on from Alice Caruso. And I know some Bulls fans hate it. I understand it, but that's where the team is telling us they are right now. Now we also got a follow up from Casey Johnson in regards to Zach Levine. It seems like uh, the Bulls and Detroit Pistons were discussing a deal centered around Bogdan. Uh, I'm sorry, Bojan uh, Bogdanovich and Joe Harris. Now nothing was imminent on that one either, but it was. Uh, uh, another iteration of the deal that they were trying to work on, just supporting the fact that they were still talking up until this recent situation with Zach Levine uh, and happening with his with him announcing the surgery, that the Bulls and Pistons were still actively engaged in trade talks. Now, keep in mind, Zach Levine technically being injured would not stop a team from being able to trade for him if they decide to waive the medicals. I don't see that happening at all, so I want to be clear. That's, I don't think there's any way with the severity of the injury and whatever, that, it, that, it, that they would waive that to go ahead and trade for Zach now, which would be an extra just 
stab in the back to Zach. Well, not stab in the back, but like a kick in the nuts to Zach. Like, hey, if you and your camp announce this surgery to avoid being traded and the team still trades for you anyway, like, hey, man, go ahead and come over here real quick. That would be hilarious. But, you know, so that just shows that 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 smoke around the Detroit Pistons and and Chicago Bulls was real. Now, does that mean that the team was possibly looking at, uh, you know, was, were, were they close to solidifying something? I still have my questions and doubt around that. But, you know, it does add, you know, some extra validity to the rumors that Zach Levine and his camp did this because they do not want to go to Detroit. I can understand a lot of people in America don't really want to go to Detroit if they're being honest with themselves. But, you know, I just want to give you guys those two updates. Let me know what you guys think on that down below. As far as Alex Cruz on the Golden State Warriors, if the Warriors came calling and made any of their first round picks between 2028 and 2030 available, maybe with another one that has protections on in a couple of seconds, do you think that that's something that the Bulls will bite on? Or if they do include a player like like Kevon Looney, or, or I, I just don't see that happening. I don't see it happening. So I feel a little icky asking it. But if you think that that's a possibility as well, let me know what you guys think on that down below. But as always, make sure you're following the show at Bull Central Pod. You can send us any feedback, questions, comments, concerns, bullcentralpod at gmail.com. And then lastly, if you want to leave a text message and our voicemail, number to do so, 773-270-2799. We are. The number one spot for everything Chicago Bulls related, thanks to you guys. And like I liked in every episode on, go Bulls. Love you guys. See you right if you can, y'all. Peace. This has been a presentation of The Break Break Media. 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 Media.